This recipe is my take on a classic mince pie updated with the lovely festive flavours of chocolate and orange. We're going to start by making some chocolate pastry to encapsulate the mince pie filling. So I'm going to place some plain flour and then we're going to add to that some icing sugar for a little bit of sweetness, cocoa powder and finally some butter and I've cut this into little cubes and it's nice and cold so it will mix really well into our other ingredients. So I'm going to pop the lid on and blitz until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. So we're looking for a mixture that looks a little bit like wet sand. And that's what we've got here, so there's no large lumps of butter remaining. Add in one egg yolk and then pulse again. And if your mixture hasn't quite come together, add about a teaspoon of water and pulse again until it comes together into a nice neat ball. Lay out a sheet of cling film and then tip the pastry mix onto the cling film and knead briefly into a ball. And now this needs to chill in the fridge for about half an hour before you use it, just so that butter can solidify again and make it really short and crumbly. So now I'm going to start making the filling for our mince pies. I'm using a classical mince meat to fill them, but I'm adding a bit of orange to give it that nice zesty flavour. You get so much flavour from the zest of citrus fruits. And then cut your orange in half and squeeze the juice from half an orange into your mince meat mix. So we're going to mix this all together. It loosens up the mince meat as well, which makes it easier to spread into the cases. So now that is nicely combined, I'm going to set that to one side whilst I roll out my pastry. I'm going to dust my surface with a little bit of icing sugar, which helps the pastry not to stick. And then I'm going to take my pastry and a rolling pin, roll it to a thickness of about half a centimetre. Then use a round cutter, a little bit bigger than your muffin tin, for the full recipe, click on the link below. Lower each circle of pastry into a well-greased muffin tin and use your fingers to press it right into the edges. So now all of my cases are full of pastry, I'm going to add the mincemeat filling. So I'm just going to divide my mincemeat mixture between the cases. You want about one teaspoon in each case. You need to make sure that you leave enough space for the chocolate ganache filling to go on the top. And then these are going to go into the oven to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until that mincemeat filling is nice and reduced and the pastry is really crispy. To make the ganache topping, heat some cream in a small saucepan until just boiling and then pour over a bowl of finely chopped chocolate. Then I like to leave it under the cream just for a minute or so to give it a chance to melt. So now I'm going to start to mix it all together. So all those lumps of chocolate have melted away and the ganache is lovely and shiny and smooth. So we're going to use a teaspoon to dollop it on top of our mince pies. These came out of the oven about five minutes ago so they're a little bit cooler and easier to work with. And then top each one with a little bit of candied orange zest. So those are my chocolate orange mince pies. For more recipes like this one, click subscribe.